Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys today about something I've been checking out on YouTube. And um, oh, God. there's a difference between oh, God. preppers and survivalists. Hi. And, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> That's my son. Uh, there's a difference between preppers and survivalists. And uh, I think this should be touched upon. Preppers are guys that, uh, you know, go out and buy uh, items to prepare for a, a natural disaster, uh, you know, the end of the world, whatever it is, you know. That's really not important, but they prepare for the, the hurricane, the snowstorm, the, the economic collapse, the loss of your job, the whatever it is. Um, and survivalists uh, learn yeah. skill sets for when all that stuff runs out um, and then then they can um, uh, you know survive uh, you know they learn skill sets he's got a Batman car they learn skill sets that um that keep them from having to prep as much or or if they did prep a lot when they run out of stuff which will happen um, eventually uh, you know, they'll know what plants to eat. You know, they'll be able to walk over into their yard and just eat some plants or, or find a weed that's edible or like right there. I don't know if you noticed, but there were two edible plants right when I turned the camera around. They're really big. Can you see them? Here, they're in the center of the screen. One of them's about seven, 16 feet tall. The other one's about 10 feet tall. I'll give you a clue. Right there and right there. They're called cabbage palms. And you can cut off the top like, you know, that much of them. You know, the top foot or two of them. Right where the sprouts are coming out. And that's called the heart of palm. And it's very good cabbage type material. It's high in carbo carbohydrates. Tastes really good too. Uh, I, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just saying. Uh, for me personally, I think that it's more important to be a survivalist than it is to be a prepper. Because anybody can prep. Anybody can sit down with their wife, put down a list of things that they need to have, go to the store and buy them while they're still cheap and available, and stock their shelves with them. That's basic knowledge. I mean, anybody can do that. You know, what do you need? You need gas. You need a chainsaw. You need a gun. You need this. You need that. That's all good. Especially for people living in the city. That's what you need. Uh, but if the shit really hits the fan and, and the world collapses and stuff goes really bad, you're not going to want to be in the cities. I got news for you. The cities is where everybody's going to die first. Um, you know, there's going to form groups of people that go around to these preppers and just raid them. And eventually you'll run out of bullets fighting people off. And eventually your family will get raped, beaten, murdered, and all your food will get taken. Theoretically, anyways. <laughs> um, but if you're a survivalist and you have a skill set of being able to just walk into the woods and make a bow and arrow to hunt with. Um, flint nap. Tools. Uh, you know, make razor sharp edges that you can cut things with. Uh... These are just, you know, I mean, I'm just giving examples. But, you know, if you know to find a deer antler and hang on to it because you can use that to flint nap an arrowhead. Or, you know, just, just little, if you know how to pick up wild edibles, if you know how to hunt. Those are all skills that a lot of people don't know how to do. Making a bow, that took me two years to learn how to do that. And I'm still not the best at it. I can make one to hunt with now for sure, but I don't make store quality bows yet um i've made a couple really nice ones but uh anyways to be serious though uh you know i really think that the skill sets needed for prepping versus the skill sets needed for survivalists are not even in the same level um and i really think prepping is a good idea for everybody it gives you a head start and it gives you some buffer zone or gives you some leeway uh, but I really think if you're really gonna survive say, say let's say something solar flare happens and it shuts down the electric for a year 
And I'm not saying I can I, I, that I even believe in any of this crap. Okay, first of all, I just enjoy survival. <laughs> but let's say that a solar flare or something happened. You know, the reason that you're prepping happens, and and it takes a year or two for them to build the power back. You know, some of these shows I've watched say it might take ten years to build the power grid back. I want to say hi. You want to say hi again? I don't have Spider-Man, so I don't have one. <laughs> So let's say it takes, as some of these shows I've seen said that it might take 10 years for them to build the power grid back if there was a large enough solar flare, blah, blah, blah. So that'd be 10 years without power on this earth. All the food would go bad, and it would, starvation would probably be one of the biggest things everyone died from. There'd be no more air conditioning, there'd be no more any of that. So, you know, eventually your prepping stuff is going to run out. Your bullets are going to run out, your, your your food rations are going to run out. Um, and in that case, I would say survivalist skills would help you a lot more. However, uh, being a prepper would help you for like the hurricane. Um, you know, the first couple of weeks of a tidal wave. Um... You know, but things like economic collapse and like power grids failing and stuff like that. You know, long-term stuff. Um, yeah, survival is what's going to make you survive. Not prepping. Um, I guess that's it. Just wanted to share that with you.